Temperature checks in school. Let me start with a question. With this COVID crisis going on, how many places can you name where when you enter the place, they take your temperature? Let's see. A hospital, uh, a doctor's office, a dentist's office. Uh, if you go to have your nails or your hair done, right? That's it. How about Red Cross, if you're going to donate a, a pint of blood? Um, then there's a place called Quest, where you go in, they take a little bit of blood because your doctor ordered it. So it's, it's, part, of our, it's part of our culture now. Well, guess what? Uh, I was reading some literature from New Hope Sawberry School District, and it said uh, they're not going to take the temperature. Uh, the nurse is there in case something happens. I'm saying to myself, why? And it seems to me like a non-issue. You take it, and that's it. But they brought up some ideas. This is the administration. I'm telling you, if they gave PhDs out for creative writing, some of these people, they would get it. Here's one for you. Well, if you take a person's temperature, you're this far apart, being to the head, and they may catch something. Really? Three seconds and you're going to catch something? What you do is, if I'm the person taking the temperature, I take a breath and I got my mask on. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003 done. Okay, what's the problem? It's interesting. There you can catch COVID, but you can have your football team play banging each other around. Oh, that, that's, that's okay, right? And you should see the football team. The 40 people who are not playing, they're on the sidelines. As the ball moves up the field, they move up the field. As the ball moves down the field, they stuck together like Siamese twins. But that's okay. No masks. But the three seconds, that's a problem. Really? I, mean, I wasn't born yesterday, but those people, maybe they think I was. Here's another situation with the mask that simply blows my mind. <clears throat> the time taken to take the kid's temperature, that's going to take away from the academic learning. Really? Really? Even if you have 30 kids in a class, three seconds a kid, 30 times three, that's 90 seconds. It's a minute and a half. How could you possibly lose time? But then again, in New Hope Solberry, you know, they may have a point because they are so wound up in the grades and your, your standing, that maybe even a few seconds will hurt. But the point is, you cannot really lose time. And I'll tell you why. Listen, you tell the kid his temperature, right? 98.6. He keeps a log of this every day he's in there. In fact, if they're old enough, second grade, third grade, you could draw a line graph, a bar graph. This is, this is a data uh, relevant to them firsthand. What's wrong with that? You're not losing any time, okay? So that argument, forget about it. It's ridiculous, all right? It's embarrassing. And this is coming from educators yet. All right. Now, third argument. Well, what if the thermometer that you're using happens to be broken, uh, not busted in half, and it doesn't calculate properly? Okay, so you, <clears throat> you're calculating. It says 104 point, uh, 101.4. Could be 104. All right, you do it once, crazy high school, do it twice, uh-oh, send them to the nurse. You know, second opinion, isn't that something that we hear in the medical world? Second opinion, all right? So what's the problem there? Now let's say, for example, that the thermometer really is not in good shape. It's really bad. And you're coming out with a crazy, uh, with a crazy thing. Okay, once again, to the nurse. Uh, second opinion, that's all. Now, I suspect, I'm not sure, what does a thermometer cost? $10, $15? Well, you got about 140 teachers, so times $10, that's um, $1,400, all right? Or if it's $20, you mean to say they don't have the money? That's amazing. I hate to tell, it would take me for hours to tell you about the money they have and how they spend the money here, all right? Uh, let me give you just one example about money. Uh, this is the health, right? Do you know at one time they had two phys ed health teachers? That's right. One retired. Did they replace the other one? No. They've been saving $75,000 at least a year for the last four years. You think they could take $2,000 out? Of course they could. So overall, this really smells. It's amazing. I would hope that they uh, get the thermometers for the te teachers. In fact, the teachers themselves could bring in their own. What's the problem? Do you know what we did for these teachers several years ago? We spent about a million and a quarter dollars. Each one has a computer. Like they don't have one at home? The, the, the computers were not only for the teachers, for the kids. All right. Spend, spend, spend. But don't spend on the right stuff. All right. 
uh, by the way, uh, from time to time, I appreciate it if you look at the video because there may be comments underneath. You can put your own comments on. That's it. Have a good day. And take your temperature every day. You know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Take your temperature each day. Maybe it'll keep the doctor away. Signing off.